Karma Junkies, how are you? Um, I hope you're doing well. I missed you. Um, okay, so this video is about authenticity. Are you being your authentic self? And the reason, you know, obviously every time I do a video, every time I shoot a video, um, it's always about something that I'm experiencing in life, right? Well, because I know this particular person watches my channel, I'm not going to point out names when I talk about this experience. <laughs> I know I'm being silly. Um, I had some of this energy, like this pre-workout energy stuff that my husband has. And it's called Beast. And it's like a bunch of like minerals and supplements and, um, you know, like vitamins and nutritional stuff, right? And so before I went on my jog, like it takes 15 minutes and you just drink it down or whatever. And I get, anyway, yeah, so it's like a pre-workout thing. And um, so we live at the health food store. So, and the like vitamin shop. I love the vitamin shop. Do you guys like the vitamin shop? It's the only place I can get my Zip Fizz. Um, actually, I should probably start ordering it on Amazon and get it sent to me <laughs> in the bunches. I mean, I should take out stock. I should take out stock in Zip Fizz because I love Zip Fizz. Anyway, that and LaCroix are like my, my first loves. Um, not really, but you know what I'm saying. I can speed for me. Um, okay, so this video is about authenticity. And the reason that I wanted to talk about this is because, you know what, I had like a mental mini breakdown. And I, I say breakdown, but I'm being melodramatic about it. Um, just like I was meditating and then after meditation and I went and took a shower and everything and I'm just sitting there and I was like, you know how like sometimes you don't realize that your thoughts like catch up with you, like your thoughts are thinking your thoughts. Does that make sense? Like anybody that knows what I'm talking about, like you're always into personal development and you're into all these different ways of um, always wanting to be in alignment, like it's excruciating when you're not in alignment. Anyway, I allowed myself to get on this little mini uh, momentum of thinking about my past and I just bawled for like a good 30 seconds. <laughs> I know that's not very long, is it? But anyway, I was just like, no, 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 no. What am I doing? What am I doing? No, 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 no. This is very important that I do not, not activate this particular thought process, right? But one of the things that made me think about was so many of these emails that I am getting, I cannot believe the flooding percentage of emails that I am getting about people and especially women that are miserable and unhappy in, them, in their lives. And I just think that it really, you know what, the only thing that I can say, you guys, is that I really believe it comes down to us not being authentic with ourselves. Like, you know when you're being authentic is when you're super, super happy. And you don't have to do anything to be happy. Does that make sense? Because you could, I could have said in my old life, oh, I'm completely happy. I'm completely happy. I'm being my authentic self. But deep down, I really knew that I wasn't being my authentic self, so I just lied to myself. And the way that I um, numbed my pain by not being my authentic self was um, I would buy a lot. I would shop a lot. You know, and I could justify it by saying, oh, no, I really, I, you know, I'm a, not a high maintenance person because I really am not a high, ma high maintenance person at all. But so I would, I would qualify that with saying, oh, no, see, I go to antique stores, so it's not the same. But it really is the same because I could still drop a crap load of money on antiques and, you know, the Goodwill even. Like, I could drop $150, $200 easy on just stuff, you know, like cool furniture and crap like that. Anyway, um, you know you're not being your authentic self if you feel, like, sad a lot. You know, like, um, I used to get really, really sad. And, you know, when you're in with your own thoughts and you're, like, before you lay down to slumber or... I'll tell you, for women, this is when a lot of it happens. Um... 
from my own personal journey and my own personal experience, oh, it's going to make me cry, is that um, I knew I wasn't being my authentic self when um, it was, you know, that particular time of the month that came around because you know how like you have really high emotions at that time of month and um i would always feel like there was this part of me that came out and i was just like more edgy like i didn't give a crap if i cussed someone out and hurt their feelings like i didn't care like i was really bluntly honest and i know that that was a trigger that was coming from this deep internal sense of me being super unhappy in my marriage and super unhappy with the way I was being treated, super unhappy about like, um, I don't know why I cry all the time. Yeah, I do. It's a total release, you know? And like, I just feel so, um, I feel so strongly towards my friends <laughs> um, like that are in bad marriages or <laughs> um, just because I, I, I understand what they're going through like to have to live in, in a marriage that's like really one-sided or you're just com <laughs> you're just completely miserable in your life in your marriage but you can't you just haven't been able to found that inspiration to feel powerful and strong enough as a as a person, you know, not living your authentic self. Like it's really hard to um to like break free, like to say, oh, I'm totally gonna leave. I'm totally gonna do what's right for me. And I know that so many of these women are like staying for their kids or staying till something happens or like I think for me it was like until one straw was just all you could take before you were just like it's either I get out or I'm just gonna just die and wilt away and and just nothing becomes of me do you know what I mean and um anyway I'm like a crying I'm so sorry I'm crying I hope I can get this message out and I just um just know that there's, you know, that you have a friend. Like, I totally know what it feels like. And no one could have told me any sooner to leave. I should have never even got married, to be honest. Um, even though I don't live in regret, because I think everything happens for a reason, right? Everything happens for a reason. And so... Um, I don't regret all of that. I just, I just think that if I was living my authentic self so many times when I was dating, um, my ex, you know, there were so many red flags and, um, there were so many red flags when we were dating and I just didn't heed them and my heart knew and I just didn't listen to it. I just, I stopped listening to it because someone else became more important than Raquel. And if there's anything that I can do is just encourage you to, you know, you're perfect where you are. I'm not saying like, I'm not heeding you to say, yo, you need to get out or anything because everybody is where they're supposed to be and where you are is absolutely perfect. There's nothing that you should regret or saying, oh, I did this or anything like that. And so I don't want you to think that I'm saying that, you know, I regret this because I don't. It's just that I'm saying that if I was my authentic self and that Raquel, you know, I probably would have, you know, been on my own, stayed on my own, went to the four-year art school that I had gotten a four-year scholarship in Miami and um, just became this you know, I just think, I sometimes I wonder where my art would be, like, if I never stopped painting, you know, almost 35 years ago, like, if I would have not stopped painting when I was, like, since I was a kid, you know, but I stopped doing that, I stopped doing it all because of someone else, I put more important than me, and so if there's anything that I can do is encourage you to, even if it's just a little teeny piece of today, you know, if you spend 30 seconds just 
doing something that is authentically you and not apologizing for it and not tucking it away, not um, just being you, just loving you. If that's just looking in the mirror and saying, I know you're in there. Like that's what I used to do to myself. I know you're in there, Raquel. And just giving each day little teeny pieces. And that was my beginning of my transformational journey is that I just started little by little um, showing love to myself. And, um, and eventually you'll get so powerful, you'll realize that more and more every day you're becoming your authentic self again. And how, I know that sounds so gross, I'm sorry because I was crying, but, um, and how beautiful your journey is going to be. And I cannot wait to see your journey. And if you're on your journey already, that's beautiful and wonderful too. And I, I also just wanted to, so anyway, that is what I wanted to talk about today. And so I really felt it close to my heart and, you know, this particular experience happened and I'm not going to share that experience, but it was, um, just because it's not, you know what, I don't want to activate things that aren't important. It's just the message that I wanted to get out about that. And so I just wanted you girls to know, uh, it was a couple of emails that I had gotten about some people that are close to me. And I, I had no idea that, you know, when you see pictures on social media or you see, you know, family photos and stuff, you have no idea that, that, um, that these people are struggling, you know, and these women aren't being their authentic self. And it's just so beautiful that they felt connected enough to come to me and say, you know, yeah, I'm experiencing this or I'm experiencing that. And so that we can all not, um, you know, try to rectify anything, but just being there to, you know, that, that it's understandable, that I understand them but also that we want to continually move forward and that we don't want to um, stay focused on that negative stuff, you know? We want to keep looking towards the future, keep looking towards the future. Um, but anyway, I just did want to share that little video with you and um, I hope that helped, I hope it inspired you. And um, I also wanted to say a quick thank you to the couple of people that purchased the, um, I don't know if you saw it on my social media, but um, they purchased a couple of the um, focus wheel books, you know, like Abraham Hicks, the focus wheel books. And so I painted some beautiful little illustrations on the front and then created like this beautiful book with all kinds of pretty shells and everything that I've collected and salvaged on the beaches here in Florida and in California. Every beach that I go to, I always like salvage stuff, right? If it, it could be anything, it doesn't even have to just be like, it could be glass, it could be um, shells, I mean, seaweed, it's all kinds of stuff. So anyway, just, I appreciate that. And thank you so much for those um, purchases. They were really, really, was really, really, um, wonderful of you to support my work and I do appreciate that so I wanted to shout out to those girls and um, let you know how much I do appreciate that and anyway as always I I hope that um, you have a wonderful beautiful day do you like that I picked these flowers fresh from the garden my garden my sugar moon I think my sugar moon guys I think um and these are my um I can't remember what those are called but I have pretty little lace there and then my sugar moons, I think, have a little disease, which is so sad. They still smell scrumptious, but my beloved gardener said he has to um, fertilize them, and he also has to put some kind of, like, bug killer or something. It's really hard to grow roses in Florida. I don't know if you've tried to grow roses in Florida, but they take a lot of tender, loving care. So, um, but I'm happy that I'm married to a gardener. Oh, it's a dream come true. Um, so anyway, I hope you have a lovely day. Thanks for stopping by. And as always, I'm yours until my next swim. Ciao.